Hey everybody, I just wanted to show you guys some items that I really like and I enjoy to use. Um, these are featured by companies that I frequent or I purchase online. Um, this is kind of a catch-all intro to many of other videos that I'm going to be doing in the future. And um, just basically just going to show you guys some smaller items that I really think that uh, are useful and are worth the money. Uh, everything don't have to be expensive. Everything don't have to be the best of. There's a lot of things that you're going to use several times and probably throw away, whether you're spending five dollars or you know fifty bucks. So might as well get the most out of your out of your dollar and get some items that uh, that are going to be expendable or, or you're going to use uh, less frequent than others. So. Um, I'm going to show you some items now, and I'll catch you guys uh, after the video. Alright, I just want to talk to you guys about some things that I usually pick up at Harbor Freight. Um, some of these items you've uh, probably seen or you've probably got before. Um, I'll show you a couple tools that I do own by them. I'm not saying they're a great tool company. I'm not saying they go in there and buy anything. I don't go in there often. But when I'm near that store, I pop in for several things almost every time. So, <clears throat> sand and blocks, you can pick up really cheap there. I go through these all the time. They're like six bucks for, uh, you can get them even cheaper than that. But uh, you get 12 of them. I use these sand and sponges all, all the time. Um, something else. They give these things away for free. I'm not sure if I got this one for free, but they have these little trays, magnetic trays. You can pick them up pretty cheap. I always pick up epoxy, okay? Um, so I pick up epoxy, zip ties, um, some ratchet straps if I need them, things like that. You can get these little ones for a few bucks. You can get the big ones for, you know, I think these are actually a dollar maybe, and these are like, three dollars but to have a, a epoxies around you know I buy several of each uh, obviously um, but I don't hesitate to buy that kind of stuff um, I bought these to try them out not sure if they're any good I haven't even opened them but I seen them there I think they're I can't remember they're real cheaper I wouldn't even have bought them but I said you know if I ever need that that'd be something uh, something good to have uh, there's a few times where I did need something like this uh, where I'm making a hole in a box, a metal box or something like that. Um, you can also pick up little things like these. Just little little tools. There's nothing mechanical going to go wrong with them. So, you know, uh, you can pick up items like these. I'm not saying I got this at Harbor Freight, but you can find different kind of little clamps, bench clamps, uh, woodworker's clamps. Um, you know, uh, I got a little box level here. Um, you know, I picked up pretty cheap. I think this thing was like eight bucks. So, little items that aren't gonna break down on you, or you know, um, I got some floor scrapers and things like that. Uh, I did pick up these bits. I'm not sure how good they're gonna last. I did break one already, but it was due to me. I was putting a lot of pressure. It was in a drill press, and um, it was totally my fault. It wasn't the bit's fault. Um, I was actually trying to like more to say hinge like a, something out. I should have been using like a uh, a router bit or a Forrester bit or something like that, but I used one of these, and it uh, I was putting a lot of pressure on it. It broke. So, but um, I'm gonna show you a couple tools that I own by them now. Um, like I say. Anything like your zip ties and ratchet straps. Um, I even bought a tongue box, a lock box, that's on my uh, utility trailer. And I keep my tarps and my uh, ratchet straps in there. But um, I'm going to put a few photos probably in this uh, video of some things that I own. But I'm going to show you two items that I own that are mechanical, that are tools that I have bought from there um, and haven't had an issue with uh, yet. So let me show you that now. So 
So small drill press, nothing special. I didn't go in there to buy this. I was walking through, you know, and they had this thing marked down to $26. And it's nothing special. I think the regular price was only like $69. But I didn't think I need one, but I use this thing all the time since I put it here. Just a little bench top, and um, it's really nice to be able to use, and that's why I got the set of bits. But I got it for, I think it was 25 or 26 bucks, uh, marked down, open box, but the box wasn't even open. Um, I think it was just mismarked, maybe? But that's the reason I go into Harbor Freight. You never know what you can find in there. Um, now, if you're going in there to buy battery stuff or big machine, I mean, I don't know about all that other stuff. But I'm going to show you one more item that I bought because I didn't want to spend the jack for one of the good ones. Let me show you what else that I bought. Um, I didn't want to spend the money on a big... Um, I actually wanted the one size down from this one because I have a Milwaukee, but it's a small version. And I wanted a bigger one for a job. Well... I had to chip a lot of tile and I didn't want to spend, you know, $800 on one. I think I've used this thing two or three times. That's it. And probably two years. So for something that's not going to make my money back, then I have to figure out what my costs are. So I got this thing for, it was on a sale, $219. Okay. This is a big old chip and hammer. I got a six inch wide blade for it. Um, you know, it has a pretty, pretty thick cord. Uh, you can adjust your handle. Um, it come with an extra set of brushes. Came with, uh, you know, your grease for your fittings. It uh, did that job that I bought it for, okay? and then some so it did the job and i could have bought it you know a makita or a milwaukee or another brand and paid more but it would have ate into profit is that other tool going to last longer probably is it a, are those other brands better brands yes they are did this do the job did I keep my profit high and my uh, cost low? Yes, I did. And as I had to weigh out how often I do this kind of work, which is maybe a couple times a year where I can't use the, the smaller, I have a smaller uh, Milwaukee one, but the other Milwaukee one, it uh, it does all functions. It, it drills, chips, you know, it's got the hammer function, whatever. But, um, this one don't drill, it's full on just for chipping. It's a beast, it's huge. I think they have one more model that's bigger than this. It might be like more like an actual jackhammer. But I made my money on this the first time that I used it. I made profit off of this the first time I, I used it. I didn't just um, use it and break even on the tool, which, you know, for $800 tool, you know, it, you'll still make money off that tool and you'll make it for years to come. But this has done, like I said, so let's say three jobs in the last year and a half. I've used, had to use this. First time, made money with it. Second and third time, made even more money because I didn't have to buy it again. Would I hesitate to go buy this one again? No. If I had to do it once a month, would I buy this one? No. I wouldn't buy this one if I had to do this kind of work, demo work, every single month. But what I would do is, in my situation, rebuy this again if it's lasted three years for 200 bucks. I mean, I can buy one. So if it lasts three years and it's only 
$220 and the other units are say $800, you do the math. You can buy one every couple of years new for, you know, years. So um, this is something I just wanted to show you guys. Like I say, floor scrapers, um, you can get some odd and end things in, in, in Harbor Freight that uh, halfway decent. I'm not saying go in there and buy buy anything. I, I like good tools, but there are some things if you're looking for a budget, you can get some decent stuff in there um, for for really good really good prices. Especially things that are expendable like this. I go through these so often and throw them away. So every time I go in there, I buy a couple cases of these and throw them throw them in my uh, garage or trailer and use them. So, uh, oh, I also got one of these little things. Keep this on my bench here. Or not my bench, my little work area thing. So I keep one of these here. You know, I buy my butane. Things that are all gonna be cheaper there. But um, it's always worth taking a look and pop it, into, pop it in there and seeing what they have uh, on sale or what you can get. Because some of the stuff you're gonna use and have to throw away anyway. So might as well not spend top dollar on it. Well, that's all I have for this video. Um, I have another video coming out too. It might be at around the same exact time this one releases, and it's going to be on fast cap. Uh, thanks a lot. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed all the videos. Um, I will be uh, taking notes on any comments that you guys have. Let me know if you guys have any of these items or any other items by the companies that I have mentioned. And let me know what works and what don't work. Um, what, or what you guys want to see or what interests you. Um, if it's something that I think that I could use, I won't hesitate to buy it. I always like buying tools that I could use or make money or, or uh, play with, really. Any tools that I can... <laughs> get my hands on I like to like to try them out but uh, I'm not gonna go crazy and uh, go buy all kinds of oddball stuff but things that I do use um, or odd and end things you know uh, there's a lot of things out there that are pretty cheap that you can grab that make your life a little easier on everyday projects so if there's something that you think that uh, you guys want to see or I should have then let me know like, share, subscribe.